Well, it is July the 8th. It has been almost two weeks since I videoed. So I'm gonna make a quick trip in the yard. Everything's just growing up a storm. And here's my little red wagon that Sir fixed. And here's our whiskey barrel of palladium, petunias, and verbena. And today, the first stargazers open. So there's two open today, and there's probably going to be three, three, four, five, seven more tomorrow. These little red geraniums, white petunias, purple petunias are blooming. The mum is now filling the whole pot. It'll be a while before the yellow pops on that. The yellow, uh, yellow pink mandevilla. So pretty, and this one. This plumeria, this is the one that was looking bad. It's, it's got some really healthy leaves on it. I don't know if it'll bloom this year or not. And white um, mandevilla. And the vegetables have really grown. I'm sure I, in almost two weeks, we can see zucchini forming. I haven't seen pepper yet. Let's see if we got any pepper. Here I can see, we see the blooms. But I don't see a pepper forming. Oh yeah, over here's one. Oh gracious, I missed one. There it is. One pepper. Underneath here, this is our squash. And again, I don't think I've seen a piece of a squash yet. In the back, the, we've got two eggplant. One, two, still no sign of eggplant. We have really cut this basil down. We have been using that. And the cilantro, I need to pick some more of that, I see. Look how big this zucchini is. And I've seen several zucchini from the whole something's eating on that. Where's the zucchini? Let's see. Way down in there. Let's see, can you see it? Where is it? Zucchini, you can barely see it. Right there it is. There's one zucchini. And here's another one over here. Probably the best one. We've got at least two on there now. That's a big plant. And the oregano we haven't used but once. I've moved some more tomatoes out here. These are the ones that came from the seeds I threw in the flower pot back in March. So I'm, this is one of those that came from seeds. So we're gonna have a bunch of little cherry tomatoes. Look at the cucumbers. Let me go back and let you see how this cucumber is all over the place. Matter of fact, I've tied it down twice and there's another piece popping up over the fence. I'm gonna have to bring it down. Let's see if I can find. We've picked two cucumbers off here. Lord, look at that. Didn't you see that's wrapped around a cucumber? I didn't even see that. That just happened today. Choking that poor little cucumber out. Let's take that off. Look at that. Poor little cucumber didn't have a chance. Let's see, where's one? Since I've picked two, I'm trying to remember where the other cucumbers are on here. There's a teeny one. A little baby one. Here's a little bit bigger one over here. Let's see if I can get my camera over here to see it. Look at that. I found a big one in here a couple of days ago. There's another one. You always miss cucumbers. They're always hiding. Okay, quickly. Let's go see this bed here where the Asiatic lilies are just about gone. Matter of fact, look how many of them are dead today. Oh, goodness. There's one pretty one still. Actually, there's only one other one. And, of course, the bee barn. Right now, the bumblebees aren't on it, thank goodness. You see, this bed is not growing too fast, really. I mean, the tomatoes in here are not. The trouble with this is it doesn't get that much sun, believe it or not. In early spring, it 
gets enough sun, but as the summer goes by and on that, now this is a healthy plumeria. No sign of a bloom starting yet, but it's pretty healthy. And we got the two hibiscus. I did have tomatoes in here, but I let's see that one's starting to fade. This one just opened today in a beautiful pink. Hmm. See this bed? I'm darn squirrels have been in here breaking this beautiful red coals into pieces. I found four pieces off of here. They they're they're used to finding these what we call whirly gigs from the maple trees that have a seed in them. They've been eating them all. Uh, late spring, early summer, and they're still looking for them, and they tearing my colius up. There's our yellow tomato. We're going to be a yellow tomato. And these tomatoes, look here, they're going way over. These are indeterminate tomatoes, which had no label on them, and they'll go from, for feet. They just keep growing. They'll just go, 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 go. They, have, they just keep climbing, climbing. If you put them on a fence, they'll go all over the fence. You can have hundreds of tomatoes. But we have no room, so I'm gonna have to kind of bend them down, see if I can get them back on the cage. This geranium's still blooming its little head off. The uh, polka dot plants are getting bigger. We need to pinch that back, that green and yellow coleus, pink. Uh, there's our lady with the yellow. Petunias is looking good. I cleaned out the pond this week, finally. And actually, it looks like looking dark today. It's gonna need some more algaecide in it. Looks like it's looking awfully dark. All the fish that's here on this end, they like the waterfall beating on their little heads. They love that. We've got twin frogs. Let's see where they are. They're getting ready to go. To the gate, that's where I'm in the light. Kind of not look at this beautiful purple petunia. But the frogs, they're smart, they go to where this night light comes on and they get the bugs. They are usually back here about eight o'clock. So it's getting time, and they're usually sitting back here, but I don't see them right now. Well, they might be back when we come back through the gate. Let's go look down here. Butterfly bushes have been blooming all week. Oh my goodness, they've almost bloomed out. They're gonna start in a second growth. The black eyed Susan are just starting. The next time they'll all be fully open. Look, they're just starting to open today. The orange canna, the yellow canna, which I've been finding the beetles on these. The beetles always eat Nana's rose bloom late this year so they just picking on my can I've been out here smashing them like crazy I keep a stick here which I'll see serves moved and I smash them I normally don't kill things but they don't like I'm eating the flowers so I've been killing them and look at that beautiful coleus down there I love that thing I wish I hadn't planted on the hill now because it won't get as big and there's the orange and yellow antenna there's the other green coleus of course, these are brought in maybe just a couple weeks ago. But look, I tell you, the blooms on this butterfly bush have been huge this year. Oh, there's going to be a stargazer lily. Two of them may open during the night. But look, you see all these butterfly bushes already bloomed out. I go around and cut all the dead ones off that I can reach. That encourages them to grow a little faster. They'll Everywhere you have one you'll end up with two. My battery's about to go down on my phone, I see. So this white butterfly bush has been beautiful. Right now I see the hummingbird moth is up there. Where are you? There he is. See that hummingbird moth? That's a hummingbird moth. Some people think he's a hummingbird, but he's a hummingbird moth. Oh, there's my bluebird just came through. See how quick everything up here is blooming. Not they're not getting as much sun as usual, those petunias, but these that wandering Jew, look how big it is. Unbelievable. And that's my fall adjuratum is about to choke out 
my hydrangea, but that hydrangea's not blooming this year, so it doesn't matter. Uh, look at there. Look at that double begonia is still, that thing is blooming its head off. And this, look how many, look at the blooms on this hydrangea. Look at that beautiful purple. This one looks more blue. See when it's first open, it's like blue and white. This one's got several blooms on it this year. I'm tickled with that. There's our palladiums, our fern. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. And oh yes, and we have the white hydrangea. Which right there's a begonia, the white hydrangea. Look at that thing. It only has this whole bush, only has one bloom on it. Look how the spider plant's reaching out. It's hard to tell, really, how many babies are going to be on this thing. And the sweet potato plant, look at there. It's almost to the ground. Our fern on this side. And this is the fern that Nana gave me years ago. It's been really pretty this year. That's a quick tour. My battery's going down.